Track drawing still underway here in New Hampshire. Let's take a quick look at the playoff standings. You see the big three names at the top, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Mark Truex. How about that guy in fourth place? Two-time winner of the season, Clint Boyer. Jeff, I think we're going to have a little conversation, but there's no telling, guys, where this could go. No telling. You said math quiz? Math quiz for Clint! <laughs> this should be great. So, Clint, you're... You saw that we're dressing the way we're dressing, so you just jumped ahead first in with us? I figured if you guys are going to dress like bumps today, surely I can. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a rainy, crummy day, so this is this is rainy, crummy day um, attire, right? Well it, well, it is a rainy, crummy day. Hopefully it'll <laughs> blow out of here, though. We'll get some racing. Let's talk first about your year. Not a rainy, crummy year at all. Finally get back to Victor Lane, not just once, but twice. Tell us about your season. It's been great to watch. Man, it's been a fun year. Um, you know, you got to give credit where credit's due, and that's all the guys and, and women at uh, Stuart Haas Racing. Ford, you know, you see me in this shirt, uh, loud and proud, man. All the Fords have been strong all year long. It's been a fun year to be in a Ford, and uh, we got to finish it out strong, right? We've got seven races to go before the cutoff. Um, got work to do. We need to win more races. That's the thing that's crazy about our sport is you go in such a long drought and all of a sudden, you, you know, you get that, that um, you know, taste of blood in you and you get another one and now you want to be even more greedy and, and, and need to get more wins so we can get established with these guys um, and, and be that conversation for a championship. Well, if we get this rain out of here, get this race started today, uh, we want to know where where you are with your race car. You've been working on it all weekend. I know this rain is going to change the track a little bit, but how do you feel about the issues you've been working on? Yeah, we struggled actually uh, all weekend long. We weren't very good in qualifying trim, and and um, you know rolled into race trim. And I'm a lot more comfortable in race trim. I think our long run speed will be fine. Um, this is a track where you got to be good. You need that short takeoff speed so you can. Yeah, you know, be good on the front side of those runs because it seems like when we're doubled up, that's the best way to capitalize and, and pass if you need to. But uh, long run speeds always, um, you know, seems to prevail in this sport no matter what. And I think it will at this track again. Um, the rain, it's all over the place. About the time you think, uh, man, it looks all right. It's starting to clear up a little bit. It's raining right now uh, behind the camera as hard as it, as it has all, all day long. So um, we'll get through it. You know, hey, man, as somebody that's got a farm at home and it's dry, really dry, and uh, burn up back home, uh, the farmers are all, all needing it uh, on their corn and their, their beans and their crops. So uh, I'm not going to whine about the, the rain if it, if, you know, if Mother Nature doesn't want us to race today, we'll, we'll get it in when we can. I know that's not very uh, popular, but uh, like I said, it's a lot of people are dry and needing the rain, so I'm not going to complain about it. Well, well Farmer Clint, I want to look at one thing. <laughs> so I went on record a couple weeks ago oh, saying yeah. that you were the guy that was going to make it to Homestead. And these two, they're they're like waffling. They won't pick anybody. They don't have enough nerve to pick somebody. Are you going to let me down, man? Well, I appreciate you sticking with me. I've uh, been friends for a long time and, and good teammates. learn a lot from you. So um, nobody does it any better or did it any better than you back here at, at New Hampshire when we came up here and uh, put that to good use for two wins. We need some more wins. There's no question. I understand this is crazy how this sport is. You get on a roll, you get those three top fives, you're thinking, boy, we got them. This is easy. And uh, uh, the next thing you know, you get tripped up at Daytona and kind of leave there on a sour note. And, Deep down, it's 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 in the back of your mind, you know, that plays a role. Momentum is such a big thing, whether you want to believe it or not. Uh, rolled out of there, and, and it just kind of um, trickled on. So we need to get that nipped in the butt. We need to get a strong run here and get that positive momentum uh, and vibe back in our race team with the 14 car and, uh, um, you know, and beat them and them other guys. Uh, it seems like the 78 has really come into his own here, and, and uh, the 18 has been strong. My teammate Kevin Harvick has been strong all season long. If anybody is, is there for the taking with two wins and, and the confidence and the, and the swagger we have in a race team, we're capable of doing that. That's Capability is the hardest thing to get. Um, that's not anything you can make up or anything else. Our team is capable of getting the job done, uh, but we've got to step up to the plate and, and, and uh, <laughs> uh, get it going. Rick, actually, uh, your counterpart just walked up behind me. I'm so confused right now. You got Steve. Like, put it back on uh, so I can see them. Like, okay. all right, let's go back to, to the other guys. Imagine all right, so look here, Rick. You got
got Steve, and everybody knows him, a maniac. You got Jeff, that's the, the, the intelligent guy somehow in between all of them. You got the richest guy in the, in the whole uh, uh, booth in a, in a darn T-shirt for, for crying out loud. And then we got you. You're like, you're a mix between... Like a, a, a weatherman, you look like uh, a, a this, you know, a radio jockey because of your voice. Oh, I can. And like you're the mediocre, or the mediator between all of them. So uh, you guys got it going on. All of, oh, by the way, my pack, <laughs> Kelly's pack here wouldn't fit around me if you can if you can measure up our waist. Her pack wouldn't fit around me. Wouldn't fit around my leg for that matter. So she's had to fit yeah. kneeling behind me with her pack. This steel is out of control. Clint, when you said nip it, it started with t-shirts. When you said nip it in the butt, and I was standing over here, I was like, no, I think it's nip it in the butt. I think it's butt, my friend. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. But you know See, what? I think you have you have definitely got the greatest outfit going right now because you got the Jayhawk sweatpants going yeah, on. Yeah, I was awesome. wondering if those were sweatpants. Yeah, there's a definitely. I was going to tuck it in, you know, clean up. My you appearance good. a little bit, you tuck good. it in. Go but back, go, hey, Clint, go yeah. get back on the couch. <laughs> Wait on this rain. I'm telling you, it is pouring, by the way. Kelly, yeah. But, and the lightest the sky has been. It's so, <laughs> that's crazy. But, uh, Kelly, is this normal trying to deal with all of this? I just love that this is how Rick is getting initiated into being on pit road with this rain, this chaos. Coming here to interview you. Let me tell you something I did yesterday that I, you know, in life. You, you do things, and you know better than to do them. I went to a downhill mountain bike Deep park with, 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 with my uh, crew chief. And oh, my no. Guy. You were on a bike? The craziest thing Did I've ever done. Did you ride a like, bike? At 14 years. No. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> no spandex and none of that. But uh, elbow pads, helmet, and I'm signing the waiver. Anytime you sign a waiver and you have you to put an emergency way. contact down, you need to pull away. You need to think about what you're getting into and get the hell out of there. So I text my wife after I'm filling her information out. I'm like, if you get a phone call from somebody weird in New Hampshire, there's a good chance I'm dead, and this is where the information is that you need to know. So uh, is that, that happening you say, cash, don't do this? Definitely. But uh, I did it. Um, Jimmy Johnson told me about this a few years ago. And uh, I went over there and was was airing out some jumps and having a good time with the guys. I'm not airing out put some it. jumps. Yes, <laughs> doing everything you know you're not supposed to do. Well, like I was got the Lego kid. down already. <laughs> but How my uh, my crew chief, he didn't fare so well. Oh, really? oh no, he, the, the he crew chiefs had a rough day yesterday. Uh, for for all of their sakes, they uh, yeah. My my guy went down a couple times. Went over the handlebars. Really? It was. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't hurt him because it was kind of funny when he come down the hill. Nobody knew where he was at, you know. It's like, man, we lost the guy. We're a man down. We got to go back. And about that time, here he comes down. Would and you, he got dirt all over him. And would you do it again, Clint? Around. What? No, I probably wouldn't. Oh, yes, you would. No, no, no. 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 Clint. Maybe in the winter time. I don't think you should do that. What if it's up here in the winter time? We, we, oh, we appreciate this chaos. We can put you back to work if Listen, I got hurt. We appreciate the chaos, but I don't think Kelly can hold the pass any longer. Can we go back and watch Tiger? Kelly's, go <laughs> Kelly's <back> arm. <laughs> Okay. Kelly's doing huh? the best she can. Guys, He's hey, I just want to point out that Jeff, I don't know how you feel about your pick, but your TV <laughs> expertise is hinging on his performance. What we just talked to and listened to. Good luck. I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> He's coming through, man. He's going to do it. He's coming through for me. The, Clay, the chaos. Chaos. Chaos of Clint Boyer never disappoints. Oh, my goodness. Even a sad person. I just did not